एक मिनट सर प्लीज कम प्रीतम प्लीज सिट डाउन गुड आफ्टरनून सर गुड आफ्टरनून गुड आफ्टरनून थैंक यू सर तो प्रीतम टेल अस ब्रीफली अबाउट योर सेल्फ योर एकेडमिक क्वालिफिकेशंस स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम ग्रेजुएशन योर वर्क एक्सपीरियंस इफ एनी एंड योर मेन हॉबीज सर माय नेम इज प्रीतम I have done my graduation in electrical engineering from IIT Roper. I passed out in 2018, and I am not in any job as of right now. And my hobbies include, sir, watching documentaries on big cats, uh, playing volleyball, and uh, general interest in affairs of national and international importance. Good. So, uh, Ritam, you have done from Roper, that yes, is sir. Punjab. Yes, sir. So Roper has got a new name now. Yes, sir. Roopnagar. Why this name has been changed? Sir, it is after a king um, in the medieval times. Uh, so it um, relates to that, sir. Okay. And uh, what is the special things, notable uh, things that are available that are seen in Roopnagar or Roper? Can you count two, three things other than your IIT? Yes, uh, so one is uh, the Harappan civilization. It was a site, so there are uh, and there is a, a museum also, and the excavations are going on. Mm -hmm. uh, other is sir the Anandpur Sahib uh, yeah. Gurdwara, yeah. Uh, which has a great religious uh, significance. Uh, thirdly, sir, we have uh, the Ramsar site also. It is uh, Roper wetland is under Ramsar site also, sir. Mm -hmm. Does this Bhakra Nangal also fall around Rupnagar? Yes, sir. In the Nangal Tehsil of uh, Rupnagar district, uh, uh, a part means it is both in Himachal as well as uh, Punjab, Punjab. So okay. it is partly there, sir. Good. So Pritam, you are from Rajasthan. Yes, sir. Are you in touch with Rajasthan? Sir, I live in Rajasthan only. You live in Rajasthan. Okay. So Rajasthan has come out with a, you know, revive the old pension scheme. Yes, sir. and there is lot of UN cry, lot lot of opposition that the state's finances, you know, will nose dive and similar thing is happening. The Himachal Pradesh government has announced some power, uh, you know, relief. Punjab government, where you have studied, has given some three hundred units free. Now all these decisions, you think they are in in terms of welfare of the people? Or they are more with some other, you know, hidden agenda in mind. What do you think uh, uh, of these freebies, sir? Definitely, the people would benefit out of the schemes announced. Uh, but uh, going forward, we also have to keep the fiscal constraint of uh, state in mind. If we go for uh, these welfare measures. Uh, and not, do not invest much in the development measures. So, in long term, it could prove to it could prove to be uh, harmful for the states. Uh, so, there should be a balance. Uh, definitely, there will be benefit to people from from these schemes. Uh. Okay, you are an elect electrical engineer, Pritam. Yes, sir. Right. Now, electrical vehicles. You know, everyone has been talking about electrical vehicles and the the kind of scope that electrical vehicle is is being projected. I mean, it's going very high. Now suddenly there are twenty electric vehicles, you know, which catch fire, and there's a news all around. Now with this kind of incident happening, you know, exhibiting the the fragility of the electric vehicles, you think it will make a setback to the 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 growth of EV vehicles in India? Sir, I do not recall such an incident of fire. So it has I'm, happened. You assume that it has happened. Okay, sir. So then it will definitely um, have a negative impact on perception of people regarding electrical vehicles because safety measures are primary to any of the equipment that humans use. So, so why could, do you think, as an electrical engineer, there are more fire incidents in electric vehicle rather than an internal combustion engine? What could be the possible reason? Sorry, sir, I am not, not able to answer. It doesn't matter. Thank you, sir. Do you understand that when you travel by air, it is said that you can carry the power banks with yourself and not keep it in the checked-in baggage. 
Why? Have you understood why? I would like to understand from you. You need the power bank that is the, we use to charge our mobile phones. Okay. You carry with yourself. You cannot keep it in the checked in baggage. Any special reason? So I'm not exactly sure, but power banks are also prone to damage or catching fires. Hmm. So if they catch fire there in the cabin, that will be as hazardous as being catching a fire in the checked in baggage. Anyway, we come to yes, I am not exactly sure about mind. this. You belong to Rajasthan, studied in Punjab. There has recently been directive of the Ministry of Home Affairs enhancing the jurisdiction of the BSF yes. along the border. Yes, sir. Your take on that. Sir, it, I think mm, this is a right step according to me. Mm -hmm. uh, it will uh, uh, give enhanced power, power to BSF without mm, encroaching on the uh, turf of the state police because uh, uh, the implementation we have seen like in Bengal also earlier it was objecting uh, but uh, the conduct uh, by BSF is that um, when whenever they apprehend someone they after a uh, time uh, hand it over to the police state police so I think sir uh, it is a right step because there are many cases of infiltration etc so the BSF has also recently I read uh, statement that it it has proved to be helpful for them to uh, with their extended boundaries. Sir. But Pritam, there is also criticism of this measure, criticism of this measure that no, have you heard of the criticism of this uh, step and what is the criticism? So the states are objecting that it will encroach upon their uh, police powers because uh, right to search, seizure, etc. Uh, are police functions that are under state police. So, they uh, claim to, um, that it is against federalism also. Uh, so, that there have been a principle. You see, there are clear cut demarcation of what the state powers are, what the central powers are, the constitution is very clear, there is no ambiguity. Recently, the Punjab government passed a resolution in its own assembly that Chandigarh should come to Punjab. In what way? Can a state assembly resolution help in getting a union territory into the state and vice versa? Is it within the ambit of a state assembly to incorporate a union territory? What signal is it sending to pass such a resolution? Sir, state legislative assemblies represent the will of their people and they are representative bodies. Uh, having right to express their opinion on matters related to them. So, I think if they express this through any resolution, uh, it indicates their um, pe will of their people to the central government. Uh, and uh, sir, as per the power… There is another platform of expressing the will of the people. Just a DO letter of the chief minister to the prime minister would have also expressed the will of the people. The wish of wouldn't better, a cabinet resolution an assembly resolution or a letter from the chief minister to the president and the prime minister. These are also channels. Sir, I think uh, if the matters could be uh, solved initially with the, the internal mm. discussions between the governments, then it is um, most beneficial, sir. Okay, now coming to my last question to you would be, I'm very fascinated by the latest advancement and the measures taken by the new governments. This particular new government of Punjab, the chief minister is on record and is giving very, very interesting advertisement in various TV channels that we will eradicate corruption. We will eradicate corruption from Punjab. And if somebody asks anybody for money, don't refuse to give money. Don't refuse to give money, but record it in your mobile. I would like to understand the legal ramifications of such an appeal. Legal ramifications. Do you think giving of bribe, even if it is to trap by a public man, is it punishable or non-punishable? One. Number two, I give the money and at the right moment, I fail to record because I am nervous. I fail to record the conversation. Then, option number two and option number three, I record and submit it to the anti-corruption department. Do you think that will hold any relevance during the course of investigation and prosecution? 
Sir, so the uh, 2018 amendment to the Preven Prevention of Corruption Act uh, makes it a criminal for both giving and taking of bribe. So, giving bribe is also a criminal offence. Uh, secondly, sir, if the person fails to record, then I think it doesn't serve any purpose and uh, he lands himself in very serious embarrassment. Yes, sir. Hmm? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. That you are interested in <coughs> global matters, yeah. I mean international affairs. Yeah. So, a lot of our neighbors have been in the news Sri Lanka, Pakistan, etc. I would like to ask you about Myanmar. What do you know? What is the present status in Myanmar? I am asking you because you are interested in global, you have written. Yeah, tell me. So, Myanmar is still under the military um, rule and people are protesting there have been uh, uh, ex and by government on that uh, so these are daily affairs regarding that sir but do you think it is under military rule you said do you think military rule will ever end someday it will end the civilian government will come what is your assessment it has ended in the past so there was a uh, civilian government um, for brief time and people have not been backing down uh, since they have tasted democracy. So, I think uh, will of people will prevail in the long term, sir. So, you think according to you, there might be protests, demonstrations, etc. will bring down the military government. That is what you think as of now? Because in, in the past, this has happened. So, you said that it is the civilian government had come back to power in the past. So, do you think this time also something like this will happen? I believe that, sir. It, believe that. it might happen in the near future or later, sir. Okay. Then your among your hobbies, I see that uh, I mean, or your sports interests have been shot put and javelin also. No, Jav only shot put. Only shot put. Shot put. And, and to which level have you represented your college or state in in uh, shot put? Sir, at school level, I went to uh, state level uh, in CBSC competition of state level. Uh, at school, I represented my college at intra IITs, which is a sport uh, um, competition of all the IITs held once in a year. Sir. In the last Olympics, we found India doing very well. I mean, gold medal we got in javelin. Yes, what sir. is the status of shot put of India in, in the Olympics? Uh, at Olympics, we were represented by Tajinder Singh Tour, uh, and he did not manage to get into the final eight. So he lagged by a uh, few um, decimal meters. Sir. Meters. The so last question is that you are interested in big cats. Yes, sir. So tell me, what are the big cats? How do you categorize them? Name some big cats, for my knowledge. The big cats uh, basically are categorized by the size and in India we have tigers, uh, the Bengal tiger specifically, uh, we have Asiatic lion, uh, we have leopards, clouded leopards and snow leopard in India, uh, while outside we have sir, jaguars in South America, Latin America as well as puma in that region sir. Ja and puma where? In these sir, uh, Latin America region only. Mm -hmm. Do you, do you know more names of uh, Puma? Uh, it is name? also known as Cougar. Good. And Cheetah, Cheetah uh, comes in the big cat. Uh, sorry, sir, I forgot to mention that Cheetah no, no, is no, also, no. Uh, also a big cat. Sir. Big cat. Sir. And there was some news item some time back that Cheetahs are being relocated in India. Yes, sir. Are you aware of that? Yes, sir. Where are they being located, relocated? Sir, the uh, Kuno Palpur uh, National Park in Madhya Pradesh has been uh, a primary site as of now, but uh, more uh, uh, consultation and uh, surveys are going on for their location in other areas also, sir. So, you think uh, they will have enough food here? They are being brought from Africa and suddenly coming into a foreign place. Will they have their food? Whatever they eat now in Africa will. You think as a uh, wildlife enthusiast or a big cat enthusiast, they will have enough food to eat? 
So that has to be determined by the surveys because cheetahs prey on small prey like mostly deers and even smaller than that. So while um, thinking of their relocation, surveys will keep in mind the uh, prey population of that region also. Sir. Have you ever seen any of the big cats in the wild yourself, other than in the films? I have seen them in zoos, sir, not in the wild. Not. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Recently, in some states, uh, AFSPA was rolled back. Yes, now, what was the reason for withdrawal of Armed Forces Special Power Act? So, the Ministry of Home claims that these reasons have been uh, made stable. Uh, so, there is no more um, uh, threat perception of that level as to impose ops on these reasons. But uh, what was the main criticism against AFSPA? So, recently there was a uh, um, mess up in the Mon district of Nagaland. Other than that, sir, earlier uh, criticisms have been regarding access um, committed by armed forces and how it differentiate against uh, particular uh, reasons only like uh, in the northeast uh, uh, while, other in the, while other people like they claim that uh, uh, Naxalism is also kind of uh, 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 violence, but they do not have APSPA. So, they call for differentiate um, discrimination basically, sir. Uh, there has been now for a few years the practice of uh, the Prime Minister um, is speaking. Uh, radio broadcasts, Man Ki Baat. Now, what have been the main achievements from this, according to you? Sir, it provides a direct uh, connection between the uh, Prime Minister as well and the uh, public. Uh, he has uh, talked about many uh, important issues on this so as to create awareness about many of the issues he he has also highlighted some of uh, good stories or examples from uh, many reasons to um, inspire people regarding taking positive initiatives so these are a few good things have you heard about the international criminal court yes sir what is its jurisdiction Sir, it uh, deals with uh, war crimes, uh, genocide, crime against humanities, humanity, and sir, aggression also. Okay. Has uh, the International Criminal Court any jurisdiction in the present uh, conflict ongoing in Ukraine? Sir, Russia and Ukraine are not members of ICC, uh, but the ICC has been conducting in investigation in the human rights abuses by US, by Russia in Ukraine, sir. Okay. That's all. Thank you, sir. Right, Pritam, I see you as a bright electrical engineer trained from one of the IITs. Thank you, sir choosing mathematics as one of the subjects to crack this prestigious examination of civil services and an avid nature watcher also because you are interested i'm taking the cue from my distinguished fellow panelist big cats yes sir. okay uh, having seen their behavior in the wild does it add to some kind of a say alternate perspective of nature that you have and also maybe gender relations. We are social animals all right, but Sir. a couple of them are also social, right? So what perspective do you get about nature in general and gender relations having been an avid big cat watcher? The first is that uh, life in the wild is really harsh. Uh, animals struggle for their day-to-day -day meal. Goes, they go hungry for even uh, days, weeks. So that is one, sir. Uh, secondly, sir, it uh, 
uh, makes me realize the importance of uh, the uh, wildlife in a, in the entire ecosystem uh, because without them we would lose many of our important ecosystem balancing the uh, climate of entire earth uh, Sir, about gender relations, uh, like the lions are uh, social animals, they live in large groups, uh, uh, prides, they are called prides. So, um, these are mostly or almost um, um, patriarchal, sir. Uh, the lions get the first uh, share at the meals, uh, they dominate in the females in uh, their day to day activities, sir. So, they are patriarchal, sir. Very good. So, do you prescribe this for us, the humans, or do you think that, no? Sir, over time we have evolved in morality, we are not uh, the... It not has been an issue of perennial debate amongst uh, scholars working on gender, that there is something that nature also dictates in terms of behavior, and uh, legislative and civilizational changes with which we have burdened ourselves have actually made us little away from nature and we are constrained to behave in a particular way. Would you add something to that? I have vaguely come across such debates, but as we have progressed in our life and we are now civilized as we are, so I think according we have to act according to that only, sir. So, uh, gender equality is necessary, sir. Okay, good. Uh, Another uh, question, just a short one. I have asked uh, another aspirant uh, sure. who came before you. He also had mathematics as uh, his subject. Where would you uh, place math mathematics? Like an art subject or a science subject? Are you aware that in yes. some of the universities, mathematics is also clubbed as an art subject? We have MA and BA in mathematics. So, your sir, take on this? For me, sir, I would consider it more of a science. Why? Sir, because it is a systematic study and knowledge. We, and there are uh, observation we derive from maths. And there is a, uh, application to sciences also in of math. So, in that aspect, sir, I consider it to be in science. What is the role of abstraction in mathematics? Imagination in mathematics? Do you form patterns? that are more of a mental exercise rather than something given to you. I can see a different pattern in a constellation of facts. He can see a different pattern. You can see a different pattern. That is not objective. I am sorry, sir. I am not able to answer that, sir. Okay. Thank you, Thank you sir. So, Pritam, last question I would like to ask from a subject uh, or topic that you will choose? <coughs> Sir, Rajasthan. We'll talk about Rajasthan. So, let's talk about Seeker. Sir. What is Seeker famous for uh, with regard to the people there? Uh, and why we find that from Shikhavati there are a large number of people going into the defense services. Is there any cultural uh, difference, you know, between Shikhavati and other areas of Rajasthan or is it just a matter of chance? Have you understood my question? So, there uh, I am aware that people are much inclined to uh, uh, Army and defense services uh, in Rajasthan, uh, in Sikkar, as well as Jhunjhunu, the Sikhavati region. I am not exactly sure of the reason, sir. Okay. So, shall I ask you something else about Rajasthan? Why is Rajasthan called Rangarangi Lok? So, due to, it may be due to different. Uh, Colors and people wear turbans, etc. And there are uh, different customs, uh, tradition, folk uh, and traditions are there which uh, uh, highlight different uh, colors, etc. So I think that might be the reason, sir. Okay. So thank you, Preetam. Question which you could did not know. 
Yes, sir. Like sir talked about abstraction. So oh, about mathematics. Yeah, was and idea. finally you asked about few questions on Rajasthan. So Rajasthan I thought it was your choice, Peter. I mean, why it do you? It came out a sudden. I do not know how to answer these questions. If a panel members ask which area you want so, to, so, so what is the moral of the story? Don't take the name of any such subject, okay, which is so vast. You know where you can be asked any question from any. आपने ही चॉइस बताई राजस्थान वो कुछ है नहीं सर एकदम से माइंड में वॉलीबॉल ज्यादा ठीक रहता मेरा ज्यादा इंटरेस्ट तो सेकंड लेसन इज दैट व्हेन यू गो फॉर द मेन यूपीएससी इंटरव्यू द एक्चुअल वन यू मस्ट हैव सम टॉपिक्स इन योर माइंड राइट जो डिस्कस नहीं हुए हो आपके इंटरव्यू के दौरान अदरवाइज आप रिपीट करेंगे वो चेयर पर्सन कहेंगे अबे ये तो पूछ चुके हैं तो बहुत चर्चा हो गई so you will have to take out another topic so tell a topic two three topics dhyan mein rakhe jao yes jo national international importance ki ho jisme aap involved ho na bhi involved ho to it should not be ki sab mai swimming ka puch lo mere se ya mere se aap volleyball ka puch lo so it will not be a very befitting subject yeah. for a future civil servant yaar ye kya halki si baat pe subject de raha hai volleyball Sure. Don't get passionate about your hobbies. Sure. Stay away from hobbies as much as possible, unless you have done something great work, you know, as a project, social, uh, you know, economic, some something you may have done in IIT also. Sure. So that is one. So I would say, Pritam, that you your your confidence level in terms of answering the questions. I am not coming to the content. Was a bit slow. and was not very you were not telling the answers very confidently and very fluently right from the word go when you mentioned that you got you may have got uh, you fumbled in the answers finding an answer so only finding the answers and telling that is one thing this it is not a multiple choice that you have answered and then okay one two three the more important is how confidently you have answered and uh, whether you were mentally alert to immediately grasp that subject and go into the depth also are you getting my point sure. so i'll give some examples also like uh, roopnagar you would mention pretty well and uh, you could have mentioned a bit more about why roopnagar name was I was not able to exactly no, recall. No. I will read on. So, आपने राजा पे जाके छोड़ दिया। वो लगा सर मुझे भी। क्या है? अभी याद आया? पूरा नहीं याद आ रहा वो सर कुछ नाम था उन्होंने अपने बेटे के नाम पे रखा था तो हाँ रूप सेन तो उन्होंने ये बोल देते आप चार साल वहाँ रहे यार देख लेते रूप पर रोपर क्यों नाम पड़ गया बदला क्यों uh then you about your uh, electric vehicles aapne suna hi nahi is aap maine to suna hi nahi koi jal gayi ola walon ki itni badi ek news aayi beech mein sab kuch din delhi aane jaane mein travel settle hone mein kuch newspaper mein ho gaye the kuch din to usme nikal gaya hoga electrical engineer agar electric vehicles pe nazar nahi rakhega to fir kaise kaam chalega bhi kya sa सीकर के मामले में भी आपका बड़ा जनरल सा था दैट यू हैव ऑलरेडी मेंशन इवन एएफएसपीए की बात भी आपने जब शुरू में पूछी उन्होंने तो पहले आपका योर आंसर वाज वेरी सुपरफिशियल देन यू केम आउट विद यू नो कि साहब ये ऐसा हुआ ऐसा हुआ देन यू केम आउट विद द डेप्थ ऑफ द आंसर व्हाई डोंट यू पुट द बेस्ट पॉइंट्स फर्स्ट यू नो यू पुट एवरीथिंग ऑन द होम मिनिस्टर और होम मिनिस्ट्री कि होम मिनिस्ट्री ने एसेस किया और कहा कि भाई ठीक सर ने रीजन पूछा था कि क्यों हटाया तो वो तो सर फिर क्या यू हैव सी योर क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन हैज बीन मेंशन दैन ए एफ एस पी ए विद्रॉ हुआ इसके पीछे वॉट आर द रीजन दिस वॉज द क्वेश्चन तो होम मिनिस्टर डिसीजन वॉज द लास्ट थिंग टू टू हैव हैपेंड ही इज आस्किंग इन टू द डिटेल्स उसकी जेनेसिस क्या है So this incident of Mon took place. There were a lot of this thing about AFSPA. Excesses have been happening. Home Ministry reviewed. Home Ministry also found that 
the incidence of insurgency you did not use the word insurgency so ye chote chote words hote hain uh, pritam jo which convey the depth of your knowledge sir sir if you miss those words then it will be shallow itna to kisi ne pucha ha humne padha tha headline mein kahin hua tha kuch ye that is not sufficient for your csc interview yes sir right so basically the the sum and substance is that you have to study all your daf issues all your international relations issue all the economic issues right they were they were superficial and your responses were a bit slow theek hai aur aapka body ka seriousness bhi bahut nazar aayi thi har ek mein you were trying to you know maybe you are spending all your energy and attention to retrieving the knowledge and the information rather than talking and expressing am i right हम वो सर आप एक ही नजर पे ऐसे देखिए जैसे आप देख रहे हो ना अभी ऐसे देख रहे थे अभी भी वैसे ही देख रहे हो हाँ थोड़ी आंख ऊपर उठाओ स्ट्रेट करो बिल्कुल अब देखिए कितना सर ये गर्दन का मेरे को पहले भी एक दो बार धोखा गया तो तो टिल्टेड है आपकी गर्दन हाँ वो फिर आंखें ऊपर हो जाती है आंखें आपकी ऐसी होती है आंखों में आँख जैसे आप मतलब यू विल बिग कैट की तरह ना आप ऐसे देख I was scared. So anyway, so you have got the thing. So, sure. बस ये चीजें हैं प्रीतम. बाकी आप पूछिए कुछ पूछना है तो अपने बारे में तो हम और कुछ एडवाइस दे सकते हैं आपको. Sir, last year this is my third interview. So, कितने मिले थे? Last year मतलब बहुत ज़्यादा कम मतलब 132 आए थे मेरे. So दो बार करो. सबसे और आज में क्या हुआ फर्क है? नहीं वो मैं आपसे इसी वजह से जानना चाह रहा था कि जो दो पैनल मेंबर वहाँ थे तो उन्होंने कुछ फिजिक्स के क्वेश्चन पूछे जैसे फोर्थ पैनल मेंबर थे उन्होंने फिजिक्स के पूछे तो मैं कंटिन्यूसली मना कर रहा था उसके बाद उन्होंने हिंट विंट दे के निकलवाए आंसर तो वो गलत थे तो उसके बाद बोलते हैं कि ये तो आना चाहिए तुम्हें ये है वो है तो उन्होंने काफ़ी मतलब इस पर बोला तो ये मतलब इसको कैसे इंटरप्रेट करे कि प्रेशर था या फिर मतलब आना ही चाहिए था तो वो नहीं समझ आता सर ये चेयरपर्सन ने पूछे या मेंबर ने पूछे फोर्थ पैनल मेंबर सर जो थे तो इस साइड तो आपने अटेम्प्ट किया जबकि पता था आपको कि आपको जानकारी नहीं है मैंने शुरू में मना कर दिया फिर वो लेकिन नो फॉर एन आंसर ले नहीं रहे थे तो वो हिंट दे रहे थे कि ठीक है एक्सप्लेन कर रहे थे तो चीजें की तो भी नहीं निकाल पाए आप आंसर फिर एक और बार मना के फिर कर रहे थे तो मेरे को लगा कि अटेम्प्ट कर लेते हैं फिजिक्स का था तो मैंने अपनी लॉजिकल जो मेरे माइंड में पहला आया तो मैंने उस लॉजिक से आंसर किया रीजन बताया कि इस वजह से तो उन्होंने बोला कि ये गलत है फिर उन्होंने खुद का बताया फिर एक और क्वेश्चन पूछा तो वो मैंने मना कर दिया था तो फिर उन्होंने बोला कि तो एक फिजिक्स का एक पूछा एक और पूछा दूसरे सब्जेक्ट वापस फिजिक्स का ही था सर वो सारे फिजिक्स ही पूछते रहे वो हाँ दो क्वेश्चन दो एरियाज में गए पहले एंट्रोपी में आ, फिजिक्स से रिलेटेड थर्मोडाइनिक्स सभी जो भी क्वेश्चन पूछे उसी से पूछे हाँ बोर्ड किसका था आपका स्मिता नागराज मैन हाँ तो वो एक नंबर बता रहे हैं इसी बात को की वो उन्होंने दे टुक दिस पॉइंट वेरी अदरवाइज की आपका सब्जेक्ट है फिर भी आप बट आपका सब्जेक्ट फिजिक्स तो फिजिक्स नहीं है सर ट्वेल्थ तक ही था उसके बाद नहीं बारहवीं का पकड़ लिया देखो ऐसा है अब प्रीतम यू आर अनफॉर्चुनेट आई आपसे कोई ऐसा हम हमेशा ये कहते नहीं ऐसे सवाल डायरेक्ट वाले नहीं पूछते सब्जेक्ट के बारे में क्या पूछना लेकिन कोई पूछ ले तो आप करो क्या झगड़ा थोड़ा करो तो थोड़ा बहुत पढ़ के चले जाओ यू आर यू आर एट द रिसीविंग एंड यू कॉन्ट आर यू विद ये पूछा सर मतलब मान लो कि बहुत बेसिक पे अगर मैं मना कर देता हूँ मान लो अनफॉर्चुनेटली मुझे बहुत बेसिक क्वेश्चन भी नहीं आता तो इसका क्या वो जाता है कि पेन बेसिक क्वेश्चन पे तुमने आंसर किया कि सर आई एम सॉरी आई एम नॉट रेडेड प्रॉपरली आई वुड बी एबल टू डू जस्टिस ठीक है अब वो कैन मेंबर ने आगे बढ़ गया वो किसी और सब्जेक्ट पे तो बात खत्म हो गई बट वो मेंबर तो पीछे पड़ गया ना हाँ एक बार एक आगे जो फिफ्थ पैनल मेंबर थे उनके साथ भी हुआ उन्होंने मुझसे पहले वाडा पे पूछा फिर भी पकड़ में नहीं आ रहा था तो मैंने फिर बोला लेकिन फिर बोलते जा रहे थे वो किसी दूसरे ने क्या पूछा उन्होंने सर वाडा पे पूछा पहले तो मुझसे वर्धा वाडा सर वर्ल्ड एंटी डोपिंग एजेंसी वाडा 
वर्ल्ड एंटी डोपिंग से स्पोर्ट्स से तो उन्होंने उस पर पूछा मैं फुल फॉर्म बता दी फिर वो शॉर्टपुट को लेकर वो सब स्पोर्ट्स में ही होता है सर वो उस टाइम ओलंपिक्स भी कुछ महीने पहले ही खत्म हुए थे तो फिर उन्होंने ड्रग्स पे पूछा कि कौन कौन से ड्रग्स तो मुझे ड्रग्स के नाम याद नहीं थे कि कौन कौन से ड्रग्स बैन तो, करती तो है तो देखो आप दो मेंबर्स के कई प्रश्नों को जवाब नहीं दे पाए तो और फिर इंटरव्यू होता किस चीज का हमें शिकायत आता है कि सर फैक्चुअल है अगर नहीं पता चल जाता है लेकिन वो उन्होंने उस पर उन्होंने भी यही बोली चीज है ये तो आना चाहिए तुम्हें ये वो तो उन्होंने भी काफी बोला फिर इस पे तो वो कितना था फर्स्ट में सर 160 था तो मैं टाइम भी नहीं मिला था मेरा थर्ड डे था और नया तो था तो मैं के बाद 132 से वो क्लियर ही लग रहा है तो 160 वाले इंटरव्यू में तो ये सब नहीं हुआ ना जो तुम्हारे 130 थर्टी कॉर्डियल था सर वो है? वो वाला कॉर्डियल था मतलब ऐसा था वो बोर्ड वो सुजाता मेहता मैम का था सुजाता मेहता डजेंट आस्क लेट एनी वन आस्क बेसिक यू नो क्वेश्चन अबाउट नो सब्जेक्ट की मैथ में क्या है फिजिक्स में क्या है वो दूसरे टाइप के बट एनी वे आप अपने 160 वाले पे ही डेल करो यू कंसिडर 132 थर्टी टू एज एन एक्सेप्शन बट फिर कोई टकरा जाओ आप तो चूज कर नहीं सकते थोड़ा सा अपने नॉर्मल कोर्स में जो फिजिक्स से और मैथ से संबंधित चीजें हैं अवल तो इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग से पूछे अब देखो प्रॉब्लम क्या है ना प्रीतम मैं आपसे शेयर कर रहा हूँ फॉर्मल अगर मान लीजिए मुझे इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग से संबंधित कोई क्वेश्चन ही नहीं आएगा तो मैं क्या करूँगा और मैं मैथ्स में बिल्कुल बिल्कुल विद्वान हूँ तो मैं तो मैथ्स ही पूछना चाहूंगा कायदे से होना ही चाहिए कि जो आपका स्ट्रेंथ है उससे पूछो तो ये अनोमलीज आ जाती है ह्यूमन बिहेवियर यू कॉन्ट हेल्प इट तो बस ये है कि थोड़ा सा और पढ़ जाओ उसके बाद भी सर अब तो मैं काफी एंक्सियस रहता हूँ कैसा काफी मतलब थोड़ा हाँ। डर सा रहता है कि इस बार ठीक चला जाए मतलब हाँ। काफी अनसर्टेनिटी आ गई उसके बाद नहीं नहीं कोई बात नहीं डरो मत उससे पिछले वाले हादसे से उसको एक बैड ड्रीम की तरह समझ के और फिर फिनिश कर दो तुमने अच्छा किया है हमने तुम्हें आज 60 परसेंट दिया है 60 परसेंट कितना हुआ वन अराउंड तो आ गए ना तुम पुराने वाले पे फर्स्ट आज भी तुमने कुछ आंसर कुछ एक नहीं दिए मैथ्स के आज भी नहीं दिए तुम हमने तो उसको अवर्स नहीं लिया क्योंकि आपका ओवरऑल जो जो एक पकड़ है उसमें हमने देखा कॉन्फिडेंस देखा आप में तो ये सब चीज़ें नहीं होती आप ये मान के चलो देखो मेरिट की तो हमेशा जीत होती है अब कोई एक्सेप्शन आ जाए एक्सीडेंट हो जाए तो एक्सीडेंट के लिए आप चलना तो नहीं छोड़ देंगे आप यही मान के चलो कि जो आपका अप्रोच है वो सही है बट अपनी पढ़ाई पढ़ाई तो देखो आपको इसके लिए भी आज भी जो आपने किया हम खुश नहीं थे तो डेप तो बढ़ानी पड़ी डेथ के साथ स्पैन भी पढ़ा लो थोड़ा फिजिक्स पढ़ लो थोड़ा केमिस्ट्री भी पढ़ लो चूंकि आपने किया है और फिजिकल एजुकेशन में आप कोई अब ये सेकेंड क्वेश्चन तो देखो फिजिकल एजुकेशन और स्पोर्ट्स का था वो तो आना चाहिए था आपको तो बस एनीथिंग एल्स नहीं सर और प्रैक्टिस करो कब है तुम्हारा इंटरव्यू ग्यारह मई सर और टाइम अच्छे से कर लो तब तक तो तुम पूरा फिजिक्स का ट्वेल्थ का चैप्टर वो खत्म कर लोगे मैं पढ़ रहा हूँ अभी अप्लाई चीजें देख लो आजकल टेक्नोलॉजी का बहुत महत्व है ना अब केमिस्ट्री है फार्मास्यूटिकल पूछ सकते हैं आपसे वैक्सीन पूछ सकते हैं तो हर सब्जेक्ट से आजकल अप्लाइड जो चीजें हैं वो पढ़ रही है ठीक है ऑल द बेस्ट